decided to start a coffee shop when we kind of came to that point in our lives where we were trying to figure out what to do, like career-wise, maybe take it to the next level. Uh, I always saw myself starting some kind of thing, whether it was a coffee shop or some random business. I was really into coffee, my wife's really into design, like Aaron came into play also being into coffee, and we really kind of met in a, like, a really strong community. A coffee shop was like the perfect outlet to, you know, do what we wanted to do, get people together. Um, the fruitier the coffee, the better for me. Uh, shit, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> Actually, none of us grew up in Tower. We do live in the area. The community and, I don't know, the walkability of the neighborhood and things like that um, really play a big factor of us being here. I think we liked how locally owned it is here in Tower. Yeah. There's not really anything commercial or anything like that. Everything, it's people that live around here that own the businesses and that's really fun. Most of the stuff that we use are local businesses. So, like for our avocado toast, we use microgreens from Quant Farms and they live in town. Our milk is from Top of the Morn and Tulare. A lot of our stuff is local. I think one of the big things that makes us different from our competitors is not only our coffee selections, because we uh, get coffee from some of the best roasters in the States. Uh, but our staff, our staff is really awesome and amazing, and, and they just all get along so well, and I feel like you can really feel that when you come in. It feels like a hangout spot. We were definitely nervous opening our own business. There were lots of moments of panic and stress. It was always at different moments, so I would freak out, and they would be solid, or they would freak out, and I would be solid, and it was, there was panic for sure. But it was good. <laughs> 911 mode all the time. <laughs> I don't think I was nervous until like about two hours into our first day. And then it actually was really busy, and I was like, oh. That's <laughs> like not true. people are here. <laughs> That's 100% true. I was so scared. <laughs> Previous to opening. I was super stoked. I was definitely riding on the adrenaline wave. challenges that we face are definitely like first off we're on a one-way street down from a little bit off the beat path of like the tower hub it's pretty sleepy around this area a lot of people hang out during the night so it is a little bit slow in the morning to get picked up but once it gets going and everybody's caffeinated uh, yeah we get rocking I definitely feel like we've built a sense of community it's been a crazy experience like seeing you more involved in the pizza community because originally I was from Madeira and I came from Starbucks so it's like a big change for me. Yeah. Like on a daily basis it's weird not to see a regular. Uh, at least a handful of them for sure. Yeah. So I think it's a really positive outlook on like the old community over here and they really accepted us to open arms. We have a lot of regulars that come in, um, just people that live in the neighborhood. This they make it their spot to come to, which is really awesome, and you get to know them really well. I don't know, you see people on like their first date and uh, friends meeting up after Christmas break, like all sorts of things that I don't know, you don't you wouldn't necessarily see that, you know, in a library or whatever. So it, it does make it kind of a unique definitely try to make a space that could accommodate like whoever you are whether you're like your size your age your looks like you can come in here and feel comfortable and like we tried really really hard to make sure that everything that we do can maintain that for people that walk in um, and definitely our staff are just so accommodating with that and making sure that you know everybody's that everybody's different that walks in the door and they want to be treated like a little bit slightly different you know however their attitude is and our staff is just really like formed into like knowing how to treat each person as an individual and like figure out how they're really going and stuff. It's been great.